Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now in this video we are back with part 3 of the Artificial Horizon build. Now in the last episode we managed to add the colors on screen and also the indicator for where our aircraft is on the screen. Now if you haven't already checked it out definitely go and watch part 1 and part 2 as we're going to be building on top of that in this episode. And in this episode what are we doing? Well we are going to be adding our speed indicator on the left our altitude indicator on the right and our heading indicator at the top. Okay, so we're going to be doing three different things in this video. Hopefully, it's going to be quite cool to see these things on the screen. Now, before we get started, as always, this is not meant to be a full on tutorial on Lua or on math, but instead for me to go and show you how I go and learn all about these things here in games and share my knowledge with you. And you guys can build along, which is pretty cool too. So we're going to jump straight into the workbench. And the first thing we're going to do is we need to add our three different sensors on. So we're going to start off with a speed sensor. Okay, we can add that onto our creation somewhere. So for example, uh, we can add it over here. We can also go and get an altitude sensor. So we can go and add that somewhere on our creation. Doesn't really matter where it is at the moment. This is just an example, so we can just get it wherever we want. And we also need a compass sensor. So we can read three different things, our speed, our altitude, and also our heading. Okay, so those three different things. So now that we have those three different things on our creation, we can go over to the controller that we built in the first two episodes. And we're now going to add three new nodes to read that data. We're gonna go over to the design, and we're going to add three things, one, two, and three. Now we don't have enough space on here, so we're going to increase the length. And now we can move that out, and we can go and name them. So all three of these are both all going to be number inputs and we're going to have one for speed. We're going to have one for altitude and we're going to have one for our compass. Okay, so three different inputs. Now we can start working on the actual logic and you can see we've got all three of these inputs just here on my screen. Now the first one we have is the compass. Now a compass in game works from negative one to one. We actually need to convert that over to degrees. Okay, so we can see that on our screen. Now we can accomplish that by using a function block. Okay, so it's going to get in here. Now we could, of course, go and put the function inside the Lua script. So the math that we're going to be doing could in the Lua script. I prefer to do it outside of the Lua so that I can change it later on and I can toggle between different settings. So we're going to go into here and we're going to put some settings in here to go and work out our conversions. Now you can see there is a bunch of conversions down here. We're going to be using some of them. And we're going to start off by doing, uh, let's do one minus X. Okay, so we're just gonna go and take that compass value and then obviously one minus the compass value. Okay, and we're going to do an F mod on top of that. And we're going to do it by one. Okay, okay, another brackets over there. So you can see how it's working at the moment. And we're gonna take that and we're going to go and convert turns, which it is, into radians, which is X times pi two. Okay, so X times pi two. Now that's currently giving us radians, but we want degrees on our screen. So instead, I'm now going to go and add this on top of it. Okay, so we're going to take this, which in theory is our x, which all this thing here, and we're going to now go and take it times, and we're going to times that by 180 divided by pi. Okay, so that will now give us our degrees. Okay, so we're going to take our compass into the function block and that gives us our degrees for our radio for our compass the next thing is we have the altitude altitude is measured in meters in game i'm happy with meters of course you could add another function block here to convert meters to feet if you want to speed speed in game is measured in meters per second obviously this being kind of like an aircraft uh lewis script we are going to convert that to knots now you could convert that into um, kilometers per an hour into miles per an hour. It's up to you. I'm gonna do knots. So to do that, once again, connect it, click on the block, go to conversions. You can see the conversion is actually already written here for you. So you can do X times by 1.943844. Okay, and that gives us our knots. Perfect. As I said, if you wanted to do something different, you could do miles per an hour or kilometers per an hour instead. Now what we need to do is we need to take all three things and put it into our Lua script. Now we could in theory go and use the existing Lua script we have, but uh, it might either get one, too complicated, there's too many things, or two, you might actually end up hitting your character limit at some stage. 
So what I like to do is I actually like to add another Lua script on. So we're going to add another one. You can do that. You can actually put a video on top of video on top of video. So we're going to add another one. And now you can see we've got our first Lua script that's running, which is doing our colors and our horizon and stuff. Then it's going to this script and then it's going to go into our monitor. Okay. And this script is going to add the overlay, which is going to be our text or our numbers on top of there. Okay. Now we need to convert those three numbers in here. To do that, we're going to once again use a composite right. Now I've already got one, so I'm just going to select it and paste it. I need three channels and I'm going to start with channel one. Okay, So there we go. So we can connect it. First one is going to be our compass. Second one is going to be our alt and third one is going to be our speed. And that's going to go into our Lua script Okay, for the second one. Now, if you want to read the screen heights like I do, because I wanted this to be customizable and scalable between different creations, I want to take this and I want to connect that that's coming from my screen. OK, that's my touch screen. Once we've done that, we can now go into the Lua script and we can stop building it. I like to get rid of once again, like always, I like to get rid of all this extra fluff that we don't need. OK, getting all rid of all this extra stuff. And all I'm going to be leaving is the. Get number the width, the height, and the color. Okay, so I'm leaving three things. Now we want to start by reading those three numbers that we're giving it. So we can go here and we can copy one, two, and three. We can go and say that value number one, for example, is our compass. So let's do uh, COM. Value number two is our alt. And value number three is our speed. Okay, so three values channel one, channel two, and channel three. Okay, same as how we have it over here. Compass, channel one, alt, channel two, and speed, channel three. Okay, we can continue from there. So now we've got our three numbers in. Now we wanna carry on and we're gonna actually draw these things on the screen. And to do that, we're going to be using some screen draw text. Okay, that just draws a simple thing on the screen at X and Y position. So we can go back to our script and we can add three of those in. Okay, one, two, three. One is going to be, let's say, for our speed. The second one will be for our alt. And the third one will be for our, let's say, compass. Okay, so we have three of those on our screen. Now what we can do is where we have the speed, we can go and put the value inside there. So speed, the alt, we can take that value and put it inside there. Our compass, and we can go and take that value and put it inside here. Okay, so we got those three different values inside there at the moment. Now we need to tell it where we want to draw it on the screen. So the speed I want on the left of my screen. So at the X position, I'm going to start at one. The Y position, I want it at the center of my screen. So I'm going to do height divided by two. For the alt, the alt is going to be the opposite. It's going to be on the other side of my screen and it's still going to be at the middle of the screen. So the other side, which is the right hand side of my screen. Now I can take the width and I can minus it by, let's say, 20 pixels or 10 pixels. OK, you'll have to play around with that to see where you get it on your screen. OK, the last thing is our compass. I want the compass at the top of the screen. So for the Y, I'm going to do my width divided by two. Now, once again, we might need to do like minus five or minus 10 pixels on that. Make sure it's centered. And then for the Y, we're going to do, let's say, one pixels. If you want to, you can change the color of this. I'm going to leave it as this color, which is going to be a green color for now. So you guys can easily see it on the screen. Let's go and update that. Confirm that. Click on update. And now we're going to go and connect those things to our controller. So we've got our compass. We're going to connect that to our compass. We've got our speed. We're going to connect that over to our speed. And we've got our altitude and we're going to connect that over to our alt. One thing I would recommend you do here is you click on your speed sensor and you make sure it's on directional. OK, that's an, a nice way to do it. That way it will only measure the direction you're going in. OK, and the speed. Spawn that in and let's go and have a look at our screen. OK, so we've got some numbers on our screen, but at the moment it's a big mess. It is a big mess. There's lots of decimals after the numbers, which we don't want. So we want to get rid of these decimals. OK, so we need to get rid of those. To do that, you can jump back into the controller and we're going to add some math on top of those numbers. Go into our second Lua block, click on edit script 
And what we're going to be using is we're going to be using something called math.floor. Okay. Math.floor will go and round it to the nearest whole number. Okay. So we're going to do the same process for all of these math.floor, open brackets, and close brackets. Same thing again math.floor, open brackets, and close brackets. Okay. So math.floor, math.floor, math.floor. Check errors. Done. Update. Confirm and spawn it in. Let's go and see if it's removed the decimals. Hey, look at that. It's gone and removed the decimals. So now as we move left and right, you can see my heading is changing at the top. We might have to center it a little better, but at the moment it's pretty good. Our speed is there and you can see the speed is going one to negative one, one to negative one and our altitude over here. Now, I don't like that. I don't want it jumping between one and negative one with all of its little things on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tell that that has to be a positive number because I don't want it to be negatives. I always want it when you're going, when you're moving, you only want to read, actually read how you're moving. Okay. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more math on here. Okay. So I'm going to click onto where I have my conversion at the moment, which is making it knots. I'm going to go down and we're going to go and do a, let's do, I think it's a function. Yes. We're going to do ABS. So we can come here, ABS, open brackets, everything inside it and close it. Okay. So that's making it a complete positive number. Update it, spawn it in and let's go and see that speed value. Perfect. There we go. We now have our actual zero our speed there. We've got our alt there and we've also got our heading. Now, as I said, it might not be perfect on your screen. So you might need to, for example, this, we might need to brush it up a little bit. We might need to bring it to the left a little bit because we're cutting off any extra zeros. Same here. We want to push that up a couple pixels and this, we might want to push on the left a couple pixels. So you're going to have to play around with it a few times, obviously to get the pixels exactly where you want it to be. So we can do that, go into the Lewis script and I want to do my speed and my alt. I want to maybe increase that height by maybe, uh, let's say by three pixels or two pixels, or once again, it's up to you. Okay. on how you want to do it. Let's increase, let's decrease, uh, increase it, put it up on our screen, but it's three pixels. So we're going to go and put the H divided by two and we're going to do minus three pixels, please. Okay. Same thing for the alt. I'm going to jump in here and we're going to do minus three pixels. Okay. Check it again. Done. Done. Update. Confirm. Spawn it in. And let's see now if it's on the center. See, that looks much better, doesn't it? It's now on the center of my screen. Okay. Which I'm pretty happy with. Obviously, I can bring it one more down if I wanted to. I could bring it one more up if I wanted to. It's up to you. Okay. And where you want that. So now what we're going to do is we're now going to go and try and add some boxes around these values. Okay. We're going to add some boxes around these values. As I said, you might need to move these a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. You could, instead of using text, you could use something called a text box. Okay. A text box allows you to go and center things either vertically or horizontally. So you can see here, if we go down, we have something called a text box, which allows you to horizontal align and vertical align. So we could use that if we wanted to for the text. I'm not going to just right now, I want to go and add those boxes on. So to add the boxes on, we can simply just go and do some rectangles. We're not going to do filled. We're just going to do regular rectangles. So let's go and make some spaces in between here and let's go and put those in. Okay. So for the speed, we're going to draw the speed and then we're going to go and put a box around it. Box is going to start drawing at zero. Okay. Cause we're taking into consideration one pixel. The Y is going to be once again, H divided by two and minus this time four, cause I'm considering once again, one pixel. And now we get to choose the width and the height. Now the width, once again, it's up to you. You can actually count the pixels if you want to. For example, you can come to the text here and it tells you, Hey, each character of the text is four pixels wide and five pixels tall. So it's doing four pixels, one gap, four pixels, one gap, four pixels. So for example, our speed, 
I'm never going to go up into the thousands for my speed. So I'm always going to have three characters. That means we have four space one, five plus four space one, five. So that's 10 plus another four plus another space. Okay. So that means we have 15 pixels to go and draw our speed that takes up 15 pixels. Okay. So I can go and make my width of my rectangle, let's say 17. I can also go back here and see, oh, each character is only five pixels tall. So I can make the height of my rectangle seven. On theory, that should all go and match up. Let's go and check it up and let's go and see that. Update it, confirm, spawn it in. And we can jump on the screen. Okay, and you can see there, it looks good. But at the moment, obviously we only have zero there because we're not going at any speed. For this example right now, I'm actually going to just go and add a, let's do a throttle lever just to imitate as if we did have some speed. So I can show you guys what it might look like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and put it over here. Let's go and fool the system and say, hey, this is actually the speed. So we're gonna go and put it over there and let's tell this that this can go up to, I don't know, let's say up to, let's do 500, okay? And change the sensitivity down. Make sure it's got some electricity so it can work. And we're gonna go and spawn that in. Now we're fooling the system over here and have a look. See how that number is changing? Look at that. Now I might wanna increase it one at the top just to give it a little bit more space or I can decrease at the bottom to give it a little bit less space. It's once again, it's up to you on how you want to do this. I think I'm gonna push it up one more. So I'm gonna change the place where is it it's drawing it. And I'm also gonna make it one lock longer, okay? And there we go, cool. Okay, so you have your number there and you can see how our speed is increasing and decreasing as we go through. Remember this throttle lever, you don't need it. This is just to imitate as if we were going at 132 knots per an hour, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and put a box around the actual compass at the top or the heading and I'm also going to put a box around our altitude on the right hand side, okay? Exactly the same process that we've just done and we're just gonna repeat it for our alt and our compass. So I'll meet you guys back once that's done. Okay, so I've just gone out of the code for those boxes and you can see those boxes have now gone and put them on the screen. Now you can see that this box is actually needs to be altered a little bit you can currently see that it needs the number actually needs to go down by one and you can see on the right here altitude is actually drawing off the screen so we probably want to bring it in by possibly another 20 pixels so let's go and fix those two things and once again it's a little bit of a trial and error you just have to play around with it until you get the right position on your screen unfortunately we don't have a little visualizer i would love to see that included or updated in the future here in stormix is to have some type of small little visualizer here so as you type your code you can see it on the screen that would save so much time but unfortunately we don't have any little visualizer here so we kind of have to spawn it test it spawn it test it spawn it test it so let's fix our compass at the top of the screen we need to drop our this down by one so we're going to do two over here for the height of our compass and then we can also i think we need to bring that over a little bit more so i'm going to make this like let's make that maybe like eight and maybe let's make that 10. so once we've got that in we also can fix our altitude as i said i want to bring it more in so let's do maybe like 25 pixels and 27 pixels okay we can now go and spawn that in and let's go and see what that's going to look like okay so spawn it in jump in our seat and that, okay, that's way too far to the left. We still need to bring it a little bit to the more right. So I'll do one, two, three, four, probably about four more pixels to the right. Uh, the top one is perfect. Like I'm almost 100% happy with the top one and you can see how it's moving around. So let's go in once again. Let's go and edit it and let's just fix the one on the right. Okay, which is our altitude. Okay, so we're going to make it like, let's do 21. Yeah, 21 and let's try 23. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Perfect. 
Perfect. So now you can see we've got our compass, our speed, and also our actual altitude over here, okay, which is great. Now, another thing I would like to do is I would actually like to change this to a white color, but I want to have a black background for this box. So to do that, we can straight away, once again, go back into our my controller editor. We're going to start by changing the color of our green to white. So we're going to make it 200 by 200 by 200. That's what we were using in the last time for our Lewis script. And now we're going to go and add some more boxes in, okay? This time we're actually going to draw those boxes before anything else. Before we draw any of this text, we're going to start drawing some boxes and I'm going to make those like a grayish black color. Okay. So we can go and do, let's do maybe five by five by five. Now, if you want to, you could actually add some transparency onto it with colors. You will notice you can add a little bit of transparency over here at the end, which is pretty cool. Okay. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to add transparency. I don't want any transparency. I'm not going to add that value on. Cool. So now we need three boxes. And the cool thing about that is you can literally just take these three rectangles you've already got. Just take them from here. And all you have to do to make them now fill with color is put an F after the rectangle like I've done here. Once again, go and update it. Done. Update. Confirm. And let's go and see if we need to make any more changes. Have a look at that. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So you can see how we've really changed the screen from what we started with. We now have our speed on the left. We also have our altitude here and we also have our compass heading at the top. Okay. So we've got some really cool things. Now we can add some more things and that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. I'm going to be adding some more numbers here so we can actually anticipate our altitude that we're going up to or our speed that we're going up to and we can maybe even add a compass bar here at the top. And once again, it's up to you. And the beautiful thing about this build, ladies and gentlemen, is that you can change the size of the screen. So if we go and grab a display, let's say we want to use one of the new three by three screens. Okay, let's just plop it down here. Uh, I'm going to tell it to get some electricity. I'm going to tell it to turn on with a toggle button. And let's go and give that some electricity. This is just for testing. You don't need it. Um, and we're just going to go and take that and take that instead. Disconnect this because we don't need it anymore. And let's go and spawn that in and let's go and have a look at that and have a look. Can you see because we've gone and put these these variables about the width and the height of the screen. Now, when we change the screen size, it changes everything on it. And this is much easier to read now because it's a much bigger screen. OK, which is nice and cool. So, guys, I think that's a great place to end this episode off with. We've added quite a lot. We've added the altitude, the compass and also the speed on there with all these different conversions. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. As I said, catch me in the next episode. We're going to be adding some more things on. We're going to add some more information. And I also want to get to eventually where we have a roll or bank indicator uh, at the top or at the bottom, just like in a real artificial horizon. So definitely keep an eye out for the next episode. And I really do hope that you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a lot of fun building this. And it's something quite different from what I'm doing normally in terms of build and survival series and things like that. I'm having a little bit of fun with this, staying away from the normal thing I usually do. Uh, and if you are enjoying it, smash that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any future videos, hit that bell icon. And until next one, we will see you then.